My name is Derek Salmon, and I love fish, all different kinds, big and small. I'm on a quest to learn about every species of fish that lives in the state of Wisconsin. So come join me on Badgerland Fishes. Hey everybody, today I have something really exciting for you. We're headed to the Lower Maguanago River, which has some of the highest species diversity in Wisconsin, and we're bound to see some really awesome species. We're working with John Lyons on uh, counting, sorting the fish that they shock, and so we get to see some cool stuff. So, let's go. The Maguanago River is one of the cleanest and most biologically diverse rivers in all of Wisconsin. A variety of available substrates, along with high water quality, provide excellent conditions for at least 53 different species of fish. These include the state-threatened northern sunfish and state-endangered starhead top minnow. The river is also extremely diverse in mussel fauna and provides a home for the only viable population of the state-endangered rainbow shell. Yearly river monitoring is done on the lower portion of the river by the Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources along with many volunteers. Stream electroshocking equipment is used to stun fish in order to collect and identify them. Important species are measured and counted. After processing, all fish are released back into the river. The number of different species along with their abundance can be used to determine the health of the river and if any changes have occurred from year to year. Even though the river is home to a variety of different species, today we're just going to be highlighting some of the ones that make the watershed so unique. We got some DNR folk electroshocking over here. And we have all our equipment set up to uh, contain anything that we might get. The main species that this stretch of river is known for is the northern sunfish. I was pleased to see that we had so many of this species coming in right away. The northern sunfish is a threatened species in the state of Wisconsin. In fact, the Maguanago River holds one of the last known self-sustaining populations in the state. Northern sunfish can be identified by their long ear flap, which is black with a white and red outline. Breeding males have vibrant coloration, normally consisting of a yellow or orange stomach, electric blue lines near the face, blue and orange body spots, and orange and black fins. Females and juveniles normally have more muted colors. Spawning occurs from spring to midsummer. The males create a nest depression with their tail, and after fertilization of the eggs occur, the male will guard the nest site until the young can swim away on their own. Northern sunfish are smaller than most other members of their family in Wisconsin, ranging in typical adult size from 2 to 4 inches with a maximum observed size of about 7.5 inches. They feed on insects, crustaceans, and small fish. They prefer clean streams without degraded conditions and are sensitive to silt deposition. This makes them an indicator species for clear water and clean streams. Another unique species we found was the common log perch. Log perch are large species of darter found in the eastern United States. They prefer shallow, fast-moving creeks and rivers with clean water and riffles. They are known for their tiger-like coloration and conical snout, which is used for flipping over rocks in order to find food. They feed on small invertebrates and prefer aquatic insects, although they can also eat the eggs of other fish. During breeding season, males adopt a more striking coloration in order to attract females. After breeding occurs, the fertilized eggs are buried in the substrate in order to protect them from predators. Log perch normally reach 3 to 5 inches in length, but can grow to be over 7 inches long. After checking out the log perch, I decided to look at one of the Maguanago River's predatory species, the bowfin. The bowfin is a slender, eel-like fish with a rounded tail, a tooth-filled mouth, and a long dorsal fin. They are extremely bony and are a brownish olive coloration with a white stomach. Juveniles and males have a large eye spot at the base of the tail. The female's eye spot fades as they transition into adulthood. They are normally around 12 to 24 inches in length, but can grow to be over 30 inches long. Mating occurs in the spring when males guard up to 5,000 eggs in a dugout nest site. The male will guard the young until they reach about 4 inches in length. The fins and underside of males will also turn bright green during mating season. 
Bowfin are extremely hardy and are voracious predators, mostly feeding on fish, amphibians, and crustaceans. They have tubular nostrils and use both sight and smell to feed. They were once thought to be detrimental to game fish, but are now seen as important in their role of controlling rough fish and stunted game fish. They prefer clear, vegetated streams, but can tolerate high temperature levels and large amounts of silt and mud. Bowfin are known by many other names, including dogfish, mudfish, cypress trout, beaverfish, and more. The bowfin family is thought to date back to the Jurassic period, and bowfin still contain a primitive gas bladder that allows them to take in air and breathe. They are thought to be able to survive out of water for up to 24 hours. Bowfin are native to Wisconsin and inhabit certain locations in the eastern portions of North America. All right, well, we already got a lot of awesome species. We're just waiting for uh, one or two more hauls back, and hopefully we'll get some more. We ended up seeing a couple different species and a lot more of one fish that we'd already seen a lot of, the bluegill. Bluegill were once found in only the eastern part of the United States, but are now found throughout the lower 48 states, and even in places such as Africa, Hawaii, Asia, South America, and Europe. They are members of the sunfish family, and are identified by an oval-shaped green body with dark vertical bars and a black ear flap. Females have a yellow stomach, while breeding males have a rusty colored stomach. Spawning occurs around May and ends near August. The nest site is guarded by the male until the young are able to swim, which normally takes around five days. A female bluegill can lay between 10,000 and 60,000 eggs. Bluegill normally are found in schools of 10 to 20 fish and eat insects, zooplankton, small fish, worms, and more. They prefer to live in lakes or slow-moving streams near weed beds. As we wrapped up our day, Dr. John Lyons had some words about the health of the river. The river is very good shape. It uh, has the highest diversity of any river of similar size or even much larger in the state. And um, we've been tracking it informally for about 30 years and in a quanti more quantitative way for about the last 17 or so years. And in that time, everything's remained in good shape. The, numbers of certain species will fluctuate from year to year, which is normal, but uh, the key species out here, the bluegill, the, the long-eared sunfish, uh, log perch, things like that, they're always common. Um, they fluctuate a little bit, but they remain common, and our species diversity has remained high, our index of biotic integrity has remained constant in the excellent range, so the river's in great shape. Thanks for watching. See you next time on Badgerland Fishes.